Today I am here with a Friday Reads video because I have realised recently that I really miss doing weekly updates and I posted a poll on my YouTube channel and asked what people's preferences were, whether you liked weekly updates, bi-monthly or monthly. There was a whole mix of responses. I think weekly updates were the least favoured but quite a few people actually still voted for them. Next up was the bi-monthly updates and then next was the monthly ones which I already do. So I've just decided to sporadically do some weekly updates because I have some stuff that I want to talk about and quite often I forget to talk about things right at the end of the month because I my notes that I keep are just not good. A lot can happen in one month. So I'm going to tell you about what I have recently been reading, what I'm currently working on, what my plans are for the coming week. So today we're a week and a little bit away from the end of March and my reading has been a lot slower than it has been in February. I'll talk more about that in my monthly wrap up and I've also not really been recording much either. I don't really know where the time has gone. To be honest I think work has gotten in the way and then we also took our puppy to the vet to be neutered. We've been spending a lot of time with him making sure he's progressing well and he is, he's absolutely fine. So that has taken a lot of my concentration. I'm hoping now work is going to calm down a bit. Again I'll talk more about this in my February wrap up but things are looking good. I have been doing quite a bit of reading though because I found a book series that I absolutely wanted to marathon and marathon I did. I read this entire series, the three books that are out so far in less than a week. <laughs> I think I managed them all in like four days. That is the Windy City series by Liz Tom Ford. It starts with Mile High and then you get The Right Move and then Caught Up. Again I'll talk more about these in my monthly wrap up but in case you're wondering this is a series of romance books which follows different couples in each one. This first one follows a guy called Xanders and a girl called Stevie. Xanders is a hockey player and he's entirely misunderstood. He puts on a certain persona for the tabloids so that he can get attention and he thinks that's the only reason he's being signed for his team because he's like the resident bad boy of the team and Stevie is a flight attendant who works on their private jet, the team's private jet. They immediately hate each other or she hates him, he is indifferent and then because it's a romance book they bond, let's just say they bond. I absolutely devoured this one, I loved it so much, it's very long for a romance book so I wasn't sure how I was going to do and I don't always love enemies to lovers because the authors sometimes don't handle it the best but this one was so good. So I spent the first like 50 pages kind of thinking, mm, not sure about this. Don't really love the author's portrayal of enemies to lovers. And then you start to kind of really like Xanders <laughs> because you realise what's going on and how he is putting on this persona and how he feels pressured by absolutely everyone. You realise that his upbringing has also had a lot to do with it. So I might actually do a full review video on this entire series so I can talk through my thoughts because clearly I have a lot to say but I gave this one five stars, absolutely loved it. It made me cry, I can't remember if I said but it made me cry. And then this one follows Steve's brother Ryan and her best friend who is also a flight attendant called Indy and I didn't love this one quite as much. I think, I don't really know why, I just didn't love the couple as much as I loved them in the first one but I still gave this one four, four and a half stars because it was still really good. I think Ryan, the guy, was the biggest letdown in this one, I didn't really connect with him and after Xander's like he just couldn't compare. And then Caught Up was my least favourite in the series, I only gave this one three stars and I really struggled with this one I think because it wasn't following the Shay siblings. Kai is a new guy who we hadn't really gotten to know very well in the previous two books. He was mentioned but we didn't really know him. I feel like he should, needed a stronger introduction in the other books in order for me to care about him. It's probably also worth mentioning in case I haven't before that these are sports romances and I don't like sports romances so I don't know what happened here. I don't know why I love these so much. So the first one follows hockey, the second one follows basketball and then this one follows baseball and baseball seems to be the most boring sport <laughs> on the planet because I just I didn't love this book. Yeah I hope I really like the fourth one when it comes out but if it's the couple that are sort of introduced in this one, I'm not sure I will love it because of reasons. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a full series review maybe when the fourth one comes out. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on this entire week as well as reading for the women's prize. I don't really want to talk about the ones that I've read just for that prize so far because I'm saving it for a video and I don't really want to talk too much about them yet while I gather my thoughts. But I am currently two books in to reading through the women's prize longlist. Bearing in mind I'm recording this video a little bit early and I'm hoping to finish at least two more this weekend because I've got a long weekend so fingers crossed I should be able to do that. I'm also currently in the middle of the three body problem which I am listening to on audio and I think I'm about halfway through from the sounds of it. I actually can't remember whereabouts I got to. I probably should have checked before I started this video because that's the whole point of Friday Reads. But this is the first book in a sci-fi series. It's translated from Chinese. This one starts off in 1967. There are some really long chapters where the main character sees her father basically beaten to death by the Red Guard and that kind of shapes the rest of her life. And then we skip ahead about 40 years I think and scientists 
are showing up dead. Someone called Wang is being asked to investigate these deaths because no one really knows what's going on. And he, currently where I'm at, has gotten involved in a game called The Three Body, or just Three Body. And it's kind of like a virtual world and weird things are happening. I'm not really sure what's going on. I have some ideas and they may well turn out to be true, but I'm a bit confused. I am really enjoying the audiobook though. It's very well narrated and I don't know if I'm gonna love this. To be honest, it depends on the ending. I've heard that it's very twisty and the concepts are really good and I have to say so far the concepts are just like all right. So we will see. I'm hoping to finish that in the next couple of days. I am also in the middle of the death of Jane Lawrence. I say it in the middle of but I've only actually read about 70 pages. Um, so I'm not quite in the middle yet. This one is about a girl called Jane or a woman called Jane who is kind of an orphan and she is being pressured to marry. It's her own pressure and societal pressure, it's not really her guardian's pressure. And she finds a husband who is a doctor or potential husband and he isn't interested in marrying. So she has to try to convince him that they should marry, it'll be for their mutual benefit. She's not really interested in having a husband but it'll help both of them out. And then I think weird things are about to happen. Something weird has already happened. There's like black goo involved. So I'm very intrigued to see where this is gonna go. It's a horror book and I'm really looking forward to it because I really enjoyed this author's other book that I read from her as well, which was The Luminous Dead. This is a very different vibe so far because it's like gothic horror rather than stuck in a cave horror. And then I have three more books that I'm hoping to start this week. As you can see, two of them are quite chunky. So this is very ambitious, but I think I can do it because I do have two days off work. I just, <laughs> I think I can. I believe in myself. First of all, I really want to read Bride by Ali Hazelwood because after reading Mile High, and co. I'm really interested in reading some more adult romance and I think because I've read Ali Hazelwood before I might enjoy this one. I, let me tell you a secret, so back in the day I read a lot of Teen Wolf fan fiction and Supernatural fan fiction so I already know about what's coming in this one. I'm actually giggling at the people who don't know what certain things are and they only discover it through this book so that's hilarious to me. I grew up on fan fiction. I've seen a lot <laughs> So nothing in this book can surprise me. I'm looking forward to reading it, hopefully getting some fan fiction vibes from it. And I think this is a paranormal kind of retelling of Romeo and Juliet in a way, because it's about a vampire being betrothed or married to a werewolf, which I love. It sounds just like the fan fiction of my late teens. I also really want to read Caliban's War this week. And this is the second book in the Expanse series. I've been in the middle of this series for years in the middle of, I've read, I read book one years ago and I've just never continued and now I really want to. I did start this a little while ago and only read the first chapter so I need to get my head in the game and finish this or just carry on with it um, because I really want to read most of the series this year I think because I'm really feeling some sci-fi. And then I also really want to read The Tyranny of Faith which is the second book in the Empire of the Wolf series. I thought the first one was okay, I had some problems with it, I've done a whole review on it. I don't think the female characters were handled or written very well so that's a shame and I really hope it gets better. I have seen some mixed things about the final book in this trilogy which again is a shame because I was hoping that it would just improve from here and it doesn't seem to. The first book seems to be the most well received of all of them but I do follow some people who really love the first, third book and I do trust them and have similar opinions to them sometimes. So I'm not completely writing off this series. I really hope this is good. I hope this is gonna be another sort of murder mystery fantasy sort of thing like the first one was. And I really want to read this before I kind of lose momentum with the series. I read the first one in January and I'm just determined to try and read more fantasy series on my TBR or sci-fi series because I have been neglecting them over the past couple of years in favour of like thrillers, murder mysteries and some literary fiction as well. So I really need to get back into my SFF headspace, I think. If you wait until you see my April TBR, it's just full of fantasy and sci-fi. So yeah, I really want to read this one this week as well. It should be a really quick read and if I hybrid read this as well, the narrator is absolutely fantastic. I love her. So I do think I will enjoy this for her, if nothing else. So those are my plans for the week. I'm also in the middle of a couple of other books, but I've kind of put those on the back burner. One of them being the, I'm gonna put the cover here. It's <laughs> something about the Donner Party and it's like the un, un something stars above or something like that. The cover's on the screen and I'm only like 15, 20 pages in, so I'm not gonna be focused on that this week but that should be next week on the cards and I should hopefully finish it by the end of the month so I can talk to you guys about it and maybe put together some sort of video surrounding it as well if things go to plan but that won't be up for a little while. Otherwise my plans for this week other than having two days off work which I'm really excited for I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I need to tidy up the house because it is a mess. When work gets busy I just kind of start to neglect things like putting away clean laundry and hoovering upstairs as well is always a struggle. So I'm gonna get to doing that. And then I'm also trying to record a bunch of videos ahead as well so that I can really focus on 
reading for the women's prize so I don't have to worry about recording videos at the last minute and stuff so yeah those are my plans for this week let me know what you're reading or life plans are in the comments below let me know what you've been up to and I'll speak to you all in the next video bye